everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Nikki and I'm so glad that you're here with me today because I have one of my most popular type of videos and that is a Stitch Fix unboxing here. I just got my box a day and a half ago so I thought that I would unbox it and try it on for you guys and why don't we just get straight into it. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, I hope that you will consider doing so. I do a lot of Stitch Fix unboxings. I do a lot of home fragrance stuff like Bath and Body Works. I do uh, Scentsy stuff. I am a Scentsy consultant. I do a little bit of travel and random chit chats here and there. So if that's something that you like, I hope that you will consider hitting that red subscribe button down below and joining me here. If you don't know what Stitch Fix is, Stitch Fix is a personalized styling service. It is a I want to say 20 or $25 styling fee. I will put that here um, if it's 20 or 25. Um, and basically you get your own personal stylist. You do build a style profile. You can let them know every month what you're kind of looking for. It, it could be every month or every quarter, or you could do fixes on demand. Anything that you decide to keep, your styling fee will apply towards that purchase as a credit and anything you don't like you just send back so this is really nice for people like me because i just never get around to shopping i don't really like um, the experience of shopping to be honest uh, just because it's hard to try on clothes i don't like the whole thought about returns all that kind of stuff so stitch fix i've been using for probably about a year and a half maybe a little longer and i've just been really really enjoying them i also use them for my kids on more of like a semi-annual basis i do stitch fix kids and i've gotten a lot of great things from them as well so Stitch Fix does um, give you five items, by the way, to try on. These can be tops, these can be bottoms, these can be shoes, accessories, anything like that. So opening the package, you're going to just see this here. On the top, you have a, it looks like this is actually UPS. Usually it is um, USPS, but this looks like a UPS return. Oh no, it says UP. That's weird. It says UPS and then USPS, but either way, you get a return envelope. So anything that you decide that you don't want to keep, you will uh, place in this bag and take it to your post office or give it to your mailman to return. Oh, one thing I forgot to say, if you decide to keep all five, you get a 25% discount on everything. Next, you will get an envelope with a bunch of literature in it. It's basically your pricing sheet and then a suggestion from your stylist on how to work the um, items that they sent. I did ask for some casual t-shirt type tops, not camis or anything like that that I've been getting or, you know, those, you know, kind of flimsy, dressy tanks. I didn't want anything like that. Um, here's your pricing sheet. And then they're doing the shop by category. So you have your own shop. So if you decide you don't want to wait for your fix or you see a lot of things in the shop that you like, you can go ahead and purchase directly from Stitch Fix. Okay. So here is my bundle. Looks like I have a few colorful things. Nothing that's looking super summery, but um, the material all feels soft from what I can see. Okay, right off the top, I have this, it looks like a tank top here from the brand, let me see if I can get it for you, from the brand Gaiam. And here's the back here. But here's the front. It's like this lavender purple color. Come on, there we go. And looks like it's an active tank, so wearing it for workouts or loungewear. I really like the back here. It kind of has a heathered type of coloring here or texture. Very lightweight. This is in the size medium. I'm in between a small and medium. This is from Gaiam, the McKenna Crossback Tank in light purple, and this is $30. $30 for the loungy workout type tank. Okay, next is from Nine Britain, is what I want to say the brand is. And this is a floral tank with a kind of scrunched up tie front here. It has purple in it and it has lots of pink and purple florals, a little bit of pops of blue. And this is in a size small. And this is from Nine Britain, the Levy Knot 
front knit tee in purple, and this is $34. $34 for the nine Britain tie front top here. Okay, next is from Market and Spruce, and this t-shirt is a nice colorful striped um, longer in the back tee. You can see it's definitely longer than the front. Um, the material here seems to be mainly cotton. Yeah, the material is actually, I was wrong. It is rayon, polyester, and spandex. So it doesn't look like anything cotton, but that's okay. Um, it's not super lightweight, but it is a nice casual t-shirt type top, which is kind of what I was looking for. So we'll see what I think about that. So this is from Market and Spruce. This is the Juna High Low Knit Top. And they say the color is off-white and it is $44. Okay, I have some more purple. It's kind of odd that they keep putting purple in my uh, fix because purple is not usually the color that I go for. But this is from Colette. This is the Rom Romy Cold Shoulder Knit Top. This is also in a small. This looks like something that can be um, kind of dressed up or casual with some leggings. This is definitely more of a fall color in my opinion, but it's a very pretty color. Nice and lightweight. And this is $34. The Colette top is $34. And then finally, it looks like I have some leopard print here. This is from Market and Spruce. This is a Karina brushed dolman knit top in gray. All right, this looks like it's like three quarter sleeves. This also has a very soft material, but it feels almost like a fall winter type of material. I really like the leopard. This is a small as well. So this has gray animal print. See that? So it looks like I have all five tops. Oh, I forgot to say the price on this too. This is um, $38, $38. So nothing in this fix was over $44. So that is very nice for budget friendly people like me. I asked for tops and they gave me all five of my items were gonna be casual tops. So I am gonna go ahead and try these on and we'll see what we think. Um, if there's any keepers or if they're kind of like duds, first impression wise, I'm not super impressed with what I got. I will say that they listened to kind of what, what my requests were, so I really appreciate that. But Stitch Fix also has a way of where I think I'm not gonna like something, I end up loving it. So we'll see if they do that again today. Okay, so I am going to pair everything with these just plain jeans here. And this is the Gaiam McKenna Crossback Tank. And I like it. It's very comfortable, very can be loungewear or workout material or workout item. So this is the front, very basic lavender color. Can you see through? You can kind of see through though. You can see my belly button. So very sheer. Here's the back. I really like the cross back. You can see where it goes. It goes to about almost to the bottom of my bum. And this is $30. So I like this. It's a nice. I don't know if I need another tank top, but this is nice that can go with kind of any cast kind of like really chill type of wear. Okay, this is the Market and Spruce. Is this the Juno? I think this is. Yeah, this is the Juno High Low Knit Top, forty-four dollars. As you can see, it has the stripes. I like. I like the front. This is the back because, you know, it's high-low. I don't particularly like this longer back. If it was the same cut all the way through, I'd probably be more inclined to like this shirt because it's cute otherwise, right? Really nice casual t-shirt type. I just don't like this bottom part. Do you agree? What do you think? Nothing special about the back. 
except this longer back. I feel like it's unflattering for the back actually. Thoughts? All right, let's move on to the third top. All right, sticking with Marcus and Spru Marcus, <laughs> Market and Spruce. Um, this is the Karina, I think, brushed domain top. Uh, this is the leopard print. I really like the leopard print. I just, I don't know. I'm looking at myself in the mirror right here too. So, uh, just I'm not feeling it. I mean, it's okay. It's cute, but I mean, I'll get a little closer here so you guys can see. I'm just, I don't know. This feels a little bit too, I don't know, mature for me, if that's the right word. It's aging me a little bit. I don't know if that is the proper word. Um, it just feels a little bit out of my wheelhouse, only in terms of like the type of fit. I like the design or like the type of leopard print. I just don't particularly care for the style. It's not wowing me or anything like that. So that's how I feel about this. I think I have two more tops to do. They're both purple, so let's go ahead. Okay, here is the nine Britain floral top here with the front bunch, front tie. It's cuter than I thought it was gonna be. Very nice material, nice and lightweight. Get up close so you can see the design of the shirt. Nothing special in the back. Sorry, the lighting's not the best in here. Usually I have really great lighting, but it goes it's a little bit longer in the back, but I like this back a little bit better than that Market and Spruce one that I was kind of not feeling. This is a small and it fits perfectly. I like it. I don't know if I love it, but I like it. What do you guys think? Perfect type of material for the summer, just very lightweight. All right, last one. Okay, so this is the Colette Romy Cold Shoulder Knit Top. This is $34, this is the last item. And I did not notice this before when I was showing you guys when I unboxed it. This is definitely not what I would consider super casual, but I actually really like this top. Really, really cute. Very nice material. Very lightweight, nice price. Show you guys the back here. Really like this. This is probably my favorite item from the fix. What do you guys think? I could totally imagine wearing this with some, you know, black jeans. These jeans work perfectly with it. Um, I have some white uh, shorts that would kind of look cute with it. Really nice for just like a casual dinner type wear. Yeah, so this is cute. Okay, I have some decisions to make, so I will be back when I have decided what I'm going to keep and what I'm going to send back. Okay, everybody, you've seen everything on all five tops. Let's go over what my overall impressions were. Uh, we'll go over the pricing and then I'll let you guys know what I decided to keep and what I decided to send back. So overall, um, kind of underwhelmed with this fix, to be honest. The tops just, I felt like they weren't really my style. Um, there were, I mean, what I appreciated is that she knew I was in desperate need of some casual type tops that were more t-shirt material. She packed all tops for me. So I really appreciate it because I don't really need shorts. I don't need more, you know, cropped jeans or anything like that. So I really appreciate that she read my note and um, put together some tops for me. Um, the styles just weren't there for me. I thought that, you know, a lot of the same color scheme was a little bit, eh, like there was a lot of purple. 
and a lot of neutrals and I like pops of color I don't know if maybe in my style profile I'm just not clicking the like on that so much and maybe I should be more specific next time but I really would have liked some nice summer colors to go with the summertime don't get me wrong I love my dark colors I love my neutrals but when it comes to summertime I do just really like the pops of color I didn't mention before I do still have my stylist Mari I think she's this is her third or fourth fix with me and uh, just real quick this is her note to me you do get a note from your stylist with each one it says Hi Nikki, happy fix day. Thank you so much for the recent feedback. I took your notes into consideration and sent a lot of the tops in size small today because I know you like fitted. That's not what I said. And they all have more straight than a fitted fit. So going down in a size should hopefully help. Let me know if this makes a difference. As requested, I picked casual summer tops and avoided spaghetti strap camisole type tops and anything from Paper Moon. <laughs> they were sending me a lot of Paper Moon stuff. Um, in addition to your feedback on each piece, I'd love to know what your essential summer ro wardrobe looks like for life in Sparks, which is where I live. Um, are there any items that need an update? This purple Gaiam tank will look great tucked in into your new striped skirt that I got last time from Mark and Spruce. I guess I could have shown you guys that. Um, I chose the cross back detail because you have other tops with similar details. Wear the full floral front tie top with jeans and sneakers, Mari. Okay, so let's go through pricing real quick. Um, the stylist picks, this is what's great. So just so you guys know, I have a style pass and they just recently renewed that for me. Um, style pass is basically where I can get as many fixes as I want without a styling fee. Um, so I don't have to pay the $20 every single month. Um, so I, only, I do have a $49 credit right now because it just renewed. And so if I would have bought everything, so first before, um, any sort of discount, it would have been $180. If I bought everything, it would have taken off $45, which would have given it $135. Then I had a $49 credit and shipping is free. So the order would have been $86 before taxes. So if I loved everything, sorry, there's a huge dog behind my backyard that barks hecka loud and scares my dog, actually. I think it's a very sweet dog, but that was what you just heard. <laughs> um, $86 would have been a steal if I loved everything on here, but I just don't. And I don't even love like four out of the five items that would have made it worth me going ahead and picking everything. So um, I'm just going to go with the one thing that I am going to keep, and this is the Colette top that I wore last that has this peekaboo shoulder. I think it's barking because he can hear me because I have my window open a little bit. But anyway, I really liked this. I just thought that it was just a great versatile piece. Um, I would have maybe appreciated it in a different color, but I feel like for at least nine out of the 12 months, this color will be kind of perfect. And I don't have very many purple things. I think I may have like one workout top that's purple. So, you know, adding in a little purple is fine. So I decided to keep this and I believe this was $34. Yes, this is $34. So I decided to keep this because I had the $49 credit. Um, this was free for me. I already paid $49 for the style pass. But anyway, um, so this nine Britain top I decided not to keep um, I I liked it um, it just really wasn't the floral in this just really wasn't my style um, it wasn't speaking to me it the florals just were kind of like boring a little bit more mature for me um, yeah just not really into it I did really like this tank here this lavender style but I have so many tank tops guys so many and so I just can't justify buying another one because I have so many <laughs> so I will wear the ones that I have and I am going to send this one back this is from Gaia and this is $30 also going back is this market and spruce top I believe this is $38 and I really loved the gray um, leopard print or animal print on it like so I do, I do like the color and the type of fabric I just did not really like the fit of it and the style so that is going back 
And also going back is the other market and spruce. If this did not have this long tail, I totally would have decided to keep this, but um, it did and I hated it. It made me really dislike this piece. So this is, I believe $40, $44 for this Juno or Juna, yeah, Juna top from Market and Spruce. So that's it. I am keeping one and sending everything else back. That is uh, pretty unusual for Stitch Fix. I usually keep at least two pieces. Um, the last two fixes I've been kind of underwhelmed. So I did put that I am open to a new stylist if they want to um, send me with one. Um, Mari has done a couple decent fixes too. So I just said I'm open. So we'll see what next month brings me. But for now, we're just keeping that one purple top and sending everything back. Um, I did have a wantable um, box that I unboxed and filmed. But for some reason, the video will not play and I cannot edit it. I've tried on my phone and I've tried on um, my Mac and both times it won't work. So I guess that one's just kind of going to hell. Um, I think I picked one or two things from that Wantable. So hopefully I'll have another Wantable to show you guys that I can actually work with. So anyway, thanks for hanging out with me on today's Stitch Fix unboxing and try on for June, 2021. What did you think? Do you agree with me about what I decided to keep and not keep? Do you use Stitch Fix? If you don't though, I have a referral link down in the description box below. I believe you get $25 off your very first fix if you are a brand new customer. So you can go ahead and click that link. I think it might give me $25 too can't remember, but yeah, you can give it a try. And I would love to hear, has Stitch Fix kind of been working for you guys? If you guys are Stitch Fix customers, um, I'm gonna give it another couple boxes and see how they do. Usually 80% of the time they kick butt and do an amazing job with my fixes. So I'm just hoping that this is a little blip and I don't need to kind of pause them for a little bit. So um, again, if you liked this video, give it a thumbs up before you go. And I hope that I will see you guys again next time on the dock. I have a Walt Disney World kind of what my thoughts were on my recent May trip over there. Um, and then I also will have hopefully a Fragrance Friday for you guys. So I will talk to you guys again next time. Bye-bye.